Ipswich. Ipswich is 45 minutes by train to Boston, which is just a, a great resource. Uh, but it is a small town with a small town feel. I love living in Ipswich. I love the scale of the community. I love um, the fact that we're on, you know, first and last name basis. We both enjoy, you know, you know forest, woods, uh, river, of course, and ocean. I just feel like every time I turn around, there's somebody else who's thinking about a way that we can help preserve the natural ecosystems that are all around us and this interconnectedness between our lives and the nature that surrounds us. In general, like Appleton Farms and all the other trails, um, it's kind of amazing, our trail network in Ipswich. I think we take it for granted sometimes, but it's just such wonderful scenery, yeah. One of the things I like about Ipswich is the kindness of the people. The passion. Yeah, that's what I found up here is everybody has passion, for sure. Whether it be for the marsh, for the shellfish, for the downtown area, for the restaurants, for local government select board. I, I, th I think that what you see in, uh, in a town government and in a town like Ipswich where people volunteer or appointed to boards is that you develop a community of people who all live here in the area who are interested in making things happen. I love the microcosm of my cozy community and I, I feel um, really connected to the region also. We spend a lot of time uh, every day, you know, walk down to the river, walk over to town landing. Winter on the river. When the tide's um, on its way out, the ice is sometimes thinner and collapses. It sounds like chimes on my way to work. Ipswich is a thriving community, and I think part of that is how interested and involved people are. Whether it's social injustices, environmental issues, it's so important to have people who are in charge, who care about the well-being of the people in their communities. I'm really hopeful because I think the community right now just needs spaces where they can come together um, in a safe way um, and still get some human connection. I've seen a lot of changes with the environment. There's been flooding around the neck. It can definitely be an inconvenience when driving home. In the high school classroom, there's charts of when the ocean will rise and how much of the Argilla Road will be covered, and it's kind of scary to think about, but you can kind of see it happening if, you don't, if we don't um, address it. We mentioned Sandy. If that storm went a hundred, couple hundred miles more to the east, that would have been us. So that should have, and I think it was a huge wake-up call for communities saying, this water is right there and it can be that high and that, that forceful. We as a people live right beside this river and have a lot of infrastructure right beside the river. Not just the dam and the town wharf, but um, sewer, pipes and other um, stormwater infrastructure right along the riverbank and even under the trail, the Riverwalk Trail. This area of concern right by the County Street Bridge is a big um, eroded area. It's right next to the bridge. There are two stormwater pipes right directly down the bank. It's also the start of the Shercliffe Path. Some traffic and dog use impact on the vegetation. The next phase of the project was looking at solutions. One of the particular improvements we're planning for is what's called a living shoreline, natural um, buffers to the vegetation, so it allows the revegetation to happen. Because it's a sensitive resource, the permitting has been taking a long time, but we're very close now, so we're super excited about it. In the next phase, revegetating the bank, addressing some of the stormwater that comes down, and then continuing to educate people in the community. People love this trail. We want them to still be able to enjoy the trail, enjoy the, the views from the river, and have a really healthy coastal bank. So.
super cool. Yes. I think that it's important for all the communities to work together to work towards what's best for the watershed. Have a clear vision, have who have similar goals, are all, you know, pooling their energies, pooling their resources. If our towns work together, it would be much easier to bounce ideas off of each other and work our way to a better future. There's a lot of responsiveness in our local community. I would love to see um, more rapid updating of thinking. The more that we can make this area a place which is affordable for more people, it makes for a richer community, it makes for more connection. We can mix the old and the new and everyone can live together in a wonderful kind of harmony. Ipswich's infrastructure over 100 years old, everywhere is over 100 years old. We have houses right down the street with a, a stamp on them from 1650. Not only in Ipswich, but Rowley, Essex, Boston, um, Portsmouth, all along the coast is the same thing. I think it would be great for our neighboring communities to understand how we all sort of interact with each other. You know, how like what you do in one in one town does affect what happens in the next town. And I say that partly out of selfishness because I w I've started doing fish counting here and I want to see more fish, you know, because it's like, oh man, you go up to the Parker River and it is like fish crazy up there, you know. <laughs> Intergenerational connections is really important because there's so much to be gained in both directions. I think you need that to thrive. It'll automatically, that will naturally lead to wanting to take care of things like making sure we have clean water and making sure we have Natural healthy resources. resources yeah. Yeah. The older generations, they have the wisdom and they can teach the younger generations. It, they re it really can't have a really successful um, end result if we don't work together. Protecting the land and the water and the natural resources, it's really tied into making this a great community for people to live in. I would say, you know, local population has to be a little bit more um, aware of, you know, what's happening with our river right now. Just maybe educating people as to what the environment does for them so that they will have a stake in taking care of it. Just have a greater sense of awareness that we are a larger community, you know, like if we could think of ourselves like how the water is connected, that would be like revolutionary in a sense, you know. Yep.